Tyler Perry Movie Town. Tyler Perry Movie Town is an American film production studio in Atlanta, Georgia. It was founded in 2006 by actor, filmmaker, and playwright Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry Studios is the largest film production studio in the United States. Perry was the first African American to directly own a large film production studio. The 330 acre studio is rightly called Tyler Perry Movie Town. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. In 2019, Perry celebrated the opening of his new Atlanta studio. He bought the old Fort McPherson complex in 2015 to serve as the new home for the Tyler Perry Studios. Perry directs the work of other filmmakers through 34th Street Films, a production division of Tyler Perry Studios. In 2018, Perry sold his previous studio, which opened in 2008, to another minority-owned film production company. The previous study location occupied two former Delta Airlines buildings in the Greenbrier area of southwest Atlanta and comprised 200,000 square feet of decor and office space. Before moving to their first location in southwest Atlanta in 2008, the studios used the former studio at 99 Krog Street in Inman Park on the Beltline in central Atlanta. Perry bought the Atlanta Stage Works land in 2006 for a total of $7 million. The studios later became Krog Street Market. In 2019, Tyler Perry Studios officially moved to the complex in southwest Atlanta. The studio occupies an impressive 50,000 square feet and has permanent decors on it. It also includes a replica of a luxury hotel lobby, a replica of the White House, a 16,000 square foot mansion, a simulated cheap hotel, a trailer park set, and a 1950s style themed diner relocated from rural Georgia to Fort Mac. And a green fence separates large areas of land from a parking lot. It has a residential neighborhood cul-de-sac with 12 homes, many of which have real functional interiors, furnished and decorated, not just facades. It is also home to 12 sound stages named after highly respected African Americans in the entertainment industry. The Tyler Perry Studios are a remarkable resource for Atlanta's resilient economy. The company frequently advertises for film and crew positions at its southwest Atlanta location. It's been about four years since Perry, a movie mogul and now significant real estate developer took up around 330 acres of the former U.S. military base, Fort McPherson for $30 million. That's about the size of Piedmont and Grants Parks put together. Now, Tyler Perry's massive film studio in southwest Atlanta has everything you need to make films of all genres. Perry recently hosted a grand opening ceremony for the studio, which has been up and running in some way for a few years with a guest list of celebrities, local executives, and other industry experts. To the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the property has come a long way and Perry had a lot to speak about. It's no surprise that Perry has developed a dozen gigantic sound stages that Hollywood producers can rent to make films. But Tyler Perry Studios offers a lot more than that. The replica of the White House was used in the production of the BET show The Oval. Whether you need to do a scene about a medical emergency, a prison riot, a plane crash, or whatever shenanigans take place in a trailer park, Tyler Perry Movie Town can satisfy all of these scenes. Also, the studio has a simulated jumbo jet, an airport terminal, and even a suburban subdivision. Elsewhere, there is a half-mile six-lane highway that Perry is building for chases and drag racing, as well as backlots that could be used for scenes from urban Europe. But not all of these over 300 hectares are used for film production. Perry also believes he could bring a facility on site to help victims of human trafficking in the years to come. Also on the agenda is the development of a theater with 3,000 seats that can be used for concerts and other major events. According to the newspaper, Perry plans to move some restaurants and retail outlets to underdeveloped neighborhoods that could become tourist destinations on the weekends. Questions still surround what would become of the 145 acres of Fort McPherson that Perry doesn't own. Project officials hope a newly restructured development team will put the potentially $760 million overhaul back on track. What do you think about Tyler Perry Movie Town?
If given the opportunity, would you like a grand tour of this massive studio? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.